This story begins with the man who once had it all. This is a tale of a man with a fulfilling nine to five employment. A man who's had brushes with greatness of all sizes and statures. A man who's regularly gone toe to ball against all obstacles in his way. All to come home every day to a devoted and loving wife. Yep, this is a man who had carved out his own slice of paradise and achieved what we all strive for, the American dream. But as it so happens, even in the best of times, that little slice of paradise can blow up in your face like a nuclear bomb. And, uh, speaking of dropping bombs... This is a tale of a man only known as the Postal Dude. Along with his stalwart companion, always at his side, Champ. These two have toughed it out together through the thickest and thin. And after nearly losing it all, they come to realize that all they really need in life is their health, happiness, and that white trash heap on wheels they fondly call home. If they had remembered to lock the door, that is. Crap. Damn it, champ, I thought you were guarding the car. Figures. But in these fortuitous times, even when it seems like Lady Liberty has turned her last trick, the land of opportunity could spread her legs wide open with an invitation to new and discovered prospects. A steady job, a welcoming home, a loving family, and a car in the driveway. That's the American dream we all strive for. But, as our heroes are soon to realize, sometimes that dream can turn itself into a nightmare. gonna need some money if I hope to get anything done in this town. I suppose I need a job, but I ought to find a way to advertise my much sought after employment qualities to the public first. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything around here that can help me promote myself. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything around here that can help me promote myself. Ah, the perfect canvas to proclaim my message. The ideal utensil to communicate myself to the masses. Perfect. With this baby, I'll be gainfully employed in no time. Wow, look at the size of that thing. Someone must be compensating for something. I got a fever, and the only prescription is some work. You hungry? Then have yourself a steaming helping of get lost. 
Hey, Rats. Watch it. Can't get discouraged yet, though. This is only the beginning of my job search. Hey, I'm a hungry man who's hankering for some honest employment. How about you quit eating up my tax money first? Damn, no luck there. But I can feel gainful employment coming my way. I'm starving for some good paying jobs. Care to throw me a bone? Hmm, you don't look like hiring material to me. Ah, what a shame. But I can't let that get me down. I can hear employment calling my name. Hi there. I've got a hunger for good work with good pay. I hear the morgue's looking for fresh cadavers. Why don't you sign up? <laughs> Damn. But I'm not settling for shit. unemployment. A job Hello. has to come sooner or later. How you doing? I'm famished. You got any good employment opportunities on you? Way, you haven't eaten you anything in a while. Don't worry. It all tastes the same. Phew. This job hunting's tough work. But I'm not giving up just yet. You're looking at the ideal job candidate who's just craving some work. You look like a bum, and you smell like one too. Is that food enough for you? Geez, tough crowd. But I know there's employment waiting for me just around the corner. You there! I have an appetite for some full-time employment. Shucks, so close. I can feel a job opportunity coming at any moment now. I got a fever, and the only prescription is some work. If you want work, just go see that Mr. Bellow guy at the job agency. Get out of here, freeloader. Now that's job hunting well done. I guess I better check out this job agency place. I hope the pay is good. Let's see. Ah, there it is. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Hello? No, no, please! Ah, a new client. Come in, no. come in. Make yourself comfortable. Maybe loosen your belt a little. What's it you need? Yeah, my wallet's feeling a little light right now, wherever it might be at the moment. You got any jobs that pay well? You're talking to the one and only Joseph Blow, son. Finding work is my speciality. I've got all the right connections in this town to put you into the right positions where you'll be obediently performing your duties. Assuming you have the right talents, of course. <laughs> no, no more. Tell me, can you put your ankles behind your head? No. I see. Well then. 
I'll have to refer to my conventional occupations list. But don't worry, it's all good paying, classy stuff. All I ask is that I take my standard referral fee from your wages, naturally. Standard business practices, I assure you. Come here, let me show you what I got. The city's in need of another subsurface sanitation attendant. You'll get to see a whole nother side of our fine town. The job site's just down this manhole. We can discuss going down to other holes later. An associate is calling for an extra wildlife reclamation expert to assist him. I can tell you're the animal lover type, being a big animal lover myself. Meet my associate here and show him you're a man who's intimately familiar with the little creatures of nature. The jail, I mean, the local correctional institution, is looking for um, a reformatory chaperone. <laughs> Don't be too rough on their clientele, unless that's what you're into. The institution is located here. Give them a good show of your penal quality. What I thought. Ooh, an emergency mayoral alert. I wonder what the trouble could be. Ah, a call for public action. Maybe I'll check it out if I have time. I'm your new wildlife reclamation expert. Ah, you must be the boy Billow sent it. Just in time. I was feeling a bit peckish. I'm this town's local animal catcher and you're my new associate. We've got a quota of specific wildlife to meet today and I'm busy in here doing, uh, processing. So you'll be handling the legwork. Now tell me, do you have any past experience with handling felines? A uh, manner of speaking, yes. Excellent. Then you know the best way is to grab them by the pussy. Cats. You gotta grab those pussy cats to collect it. 
When you bring any cats back, just dump them in that chute over there. You understand? Seems simple enough. We also got a dog quoted to me. Grabbing them doesn't work so well. So maybe you could try those dog treats over there to make them friendly to you. When you bring them here, lead them into that feeding station. I'll take care of the rest. You got that? Uh... Excellent! Oh, and, uh, by the way, there's no trouble in bringing back any wildlife DOA. Ed? Is that what that means? <laughs> well, fresh or not, the quota's a quota. Now hurry up, I can feel my stomach grumbling. That cat thing might help you. Hey, take as many of those dog treats as you like. Frankly, I'm sick of this stuff. Looks like meat's back on the menu. You got another fine pooch, my friend. Get out of here, furball! Look out! My mouth is watering already. Good job. That's one dog in the bag.
So do you think one side? Well, what did you think would happen? You right. She act like she's the queen of brown town now. She... Well, that's it for the dogs. Now you just have to finish up the cat quota. Hey, take as many of those dog treats as you like. Frankly, I'm sick of the stuff.